Hey guys, uh, let's take a look at Polkadot. Uh, it's up about 12% on the day, um, but I can say that Polkadot is really struggling lately. Now, this was one of the first coins that I bought uh, during the bear market, basically. Um, and, you know, I'm thinking where I should put this line. I think that I should put this trend line probably about here. Um, and it does appear that we are breaking out of this trend. Uh, now, I may be just this slightly, but I, I still think we would be um, just getting out of this trend line. So it, today it looks like, you know, this could be the beginning of, you know, the, the surge for Polkadot. Uh, like I said, it's already up 12%, but it's far from out of the woods. Um, as I usually say. Um, now, if I put like, you know, the next resistance uh, on this chart, I do believe it's going to be around, well, let's see, it may even be lower. Uh, maybe, yeah, right around here, I would say, at about $7.27. There's just a lot of resistance and, and supports you can see, and resistance, resistance, you know, support. Uh, here it was resistance basically. It also almost touched here and was resistance here. So $7.27 is the next hurdle I believe we're gonna have to clear. Um, then it's probably up here at about, I would say $8.36. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of supports and, and, and things around this area. Um, support up here, you know, support, resistance. So, and let's see, what would be the next? I think probably about here, about $9.66. Now, I'm not going to mark anything more on this chart. Um, you know, we're, we do have to, you know, face the first hurdle first here at $7.28, we can say. Um, but yeah, guys, it is kind of breaking out of this trend line. So that's a good thing. Uh, you know, it's fallen, though, almost 50% from where it was just, you know, the beginning of March, though. That's not good. Um, I would say it shows quite a bit of weakness. Uh, I just made a, a video on Arbitrum, and I would say it's comparable to that weakness right now. But, you know, Polkadot is one of my, you know, I would say mid-sized to larger bags. Uh, I do think that this will be a good project. Um, now, if we talk about the targets for later, uh, I believe Polkadot in the last market was about, uh, I think, $44 or so. So let me zoom this out. So if it was $44, which is around this Fibonacci, you know, I would say, honestly, it can probably reach about $85, maybe even up to $100. Uh, this run, but to push it any farther, like this top of the Fibonacci says $220. Now, guys, I don't think it's going to go to $220, uh, honestly. But hey, if it does, great. Uh, but honestly, you know, as weak as it, it has been, um, I do not think it will make it there, unfortunately. You know, we're at $7 right now, and I believe we only got about seven months. Uh, left in this, you know, bull market, maybe 10 if we're lucky. Um, but, you know, $100 target, it's not out of the question, probably. Uh, but yeah, at least probably 85 or so. Um, yeah, to 100, I would say, you know. Anyways, guys, uh, that's all I got for you uh, concerning Polkadot. Uh, looking weak, but yeah, it did break out of this little trend line. And uh, I would say it's close enough to say that it did test support. And, you know, maybe I could adjust this line slightly so it would touch that. But anyways, I, I think that's good enough, guys. If you like this video, uh, like, subscribe, activate the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.